technology is in glasses like these, I don't know whether this is an audio or video podcast, but until it's in a normal pair of glasses, I think the level of adoption is going to be relatively niche. I think it's going to be huge in gaming. I think it will become increasingly big in the workplace. But I think from a kind of everyday access, it's still easier to pull the phone out of your pocket for a while anyway. Um, now, when we do get to that point, when we get to the point where, you know, we can start augmenting reality with with appropriate information, then you're going to see another gold rush. I mean, that'll be just like when the iPhone was released or when the web first came along and, you know, there will be a big, big shift all of a sudden. But I think we're still a few years away from that, just from a, a hardware point of view, really. Uh, exactly. I feel the same with you. On, I'm, I'm exactly with you on the same point because as soon as like Apple's Vision Pro came up, you know, I have even many enthusiasts, you know, in my team, you know, who are like, okay, we're going to get them, you know, it's going to be huge. And I told them, you know, uh, it's good for some things, for learning something, going through simulation, but people cannot wear it and, you know, go around and walk in the park and yeah. they might not be using it. So it doesn't have that much use case as of now. Yeah, so I'm, but I'm, I think I I very much believe that Apple know that um, yeah. the the way they've priced it and everything I think is an indication of that. It's them putting a stake in the ground and and, and say you know this is the way we're going and, and really to start moving developers, third party developers in that direction, so that when they do drop the pair of glasses a few years down the line, there's already an ecosystem in place and people are already accepting of it. You know, I mean, we saw with Google Glasses when that came out that people weren't ready for it. You know, there was a massive, it was a really good piece of technology, but there was a massive backlash because of privacy issues. People felt uncomfortable with it. This is Apple drip feeding us, you know, and taking us in the direction of going that this is normal, this is okay, you know. And, and so I think by the time it really it shifts, it will become a, a feel much more natural. Right, you know, 